What's up guys, welcome back to some more Better Besiege Building by the Bearded Beast. With building tools, so we can put another B and T in the title. Oh god, that name is gonna have so many Bs by the end of it. If I can keep on finding mods that have the name B in it and include them in the series, that is gonna be one hectic title. But either ways, it has been a while since I did one of these, and I am very excited because this time I have actually prepared myself other than simply knowing what this up here does. In case you don't know that, I will link the other video in the description below, you can go ahead and check that out. There is also download links to this and we will be using this today but first off i'd like to address the besiege codes that i were to give out i still need to give you guys two besiege codes which i will i definitely will i tried to go on humble bundle right before this recording and again purchasing them but the anti-fraud system is still locking it down so i need to wait a little bit more but don't worry those codes will come so yeah today i thought it would be a very good idea to talk a little bit about the aerodynamics of besiege and pretty much not everything because i don't know everything i'm not the guru but i know enough to make a good tutorial at least and that's kind of what i think so you guys be the judge of that but yeah i thought this one would be kind of for the very inexperienced besiege builders so if you're advanced in Besiege, maybe this video is not for you. All right, so let's just get started here. So you guys know how I told you that I came prepared? Well, I have built a couple of BSG files, and that way I can also talk about what I'm doing as I'm loading up the BSG files. But yes, the first thing that we're going to talk about is something that I figured would be a very good thing to eliminate very early on in terms of building a plane or like something that flies, basically. And that thing is torque. More specifically transfer torque all right so what do you mean by transfer torque beast what the hell is that well it's not an actual general expression it's just something that i'm using but yeah this is transfer torque as you can see right over there the cube is spinning because of the wheel spinning but there's something else going on on the other one so this right here is an unpowered wheel that has been smacked in between the two things just like a swivel joint the unpowered wheel basically turns around or whatever like on its own so it has that sort of joint axis or whatever i'm not even too sure what to call it but you know what i mean so that is turning around instead of the cube meaning that it basically eliminates all the torque well it doesn't eliminate it but it definitely absorbs it so if you got a plane out there that is turning that way then it may be a very good idea to check whether or not you are transferring torque to your vehicle because that is a huge sinner and that's also what i figured out building my first plane so of course i also know that it's a lot better to put on two wheels and also up the speed with the key mapper just a little bit but try to remember in the upcoming bsgs that i'm gonna load in that this is for demonstration purposes only like you could smack on probably somewhere around like 10 wheels or something if you do so desire. It's gonna be fast and maybe destroy itself, but you can. Okay, so it's time to talk a little bit about propellers because propellers is essentially what you're gonna be using for all of your flying things. Like I don't think I've seen one flying thing without this, except for maybe flying blocks, but that's not really working too well. So as you can see right there, this is a, well, not really slow, but not really that fast of an engine either. But I'll show you a little trick that you can do to make it a lot faster. So what you're gonna do is to use the building tools, you're gonna take the select blocks option, and I'm gonna select the rotate selection now. Now, I like to have this number up here set to 10, just so I have a little bit more control. And as you can see, I can also turn this around and whatnot. And that is going to yield in a much, much faster engine. More like this right over here so what i've done here is that i've turned all of the propellers 20 degrees more so it's going to shovel the air way more that's what i'm going to call it by the way <laughs> right so let's see how fast it is oh good lord that is super super fast and you may also notice that it is scooting out of control the other one over here oh crap there's a little bit of lag but the other one will also do that just a little bit later i believe it is about to yeah it's slightly scooting out just a little bit and that effect is probably the biggest thing that made me more interested in building planes because it was too slow it didn't really take off correctly so by turning these propellers you can get so much more speed and i'm gonna talk about a third scenario that is also gonna help you a ton all right so the next scenario here also involves the propellers and the turning of them as you can see here i still have the two engines and i've also made a little bar right here well actually these engines are not the same as before this one on the right was on the left before and this one over here on the left is completely new what you may notice here is that the propellers have been turned turned almost completely straight there is a flat angle and i will put that somewhere on the screen because that is like a weird ass number and if you input that into your building tools in here for instance it will round it up so don't worry if the number is not correct it still works the way it should so for this one i will go 13 percent which is super slow motion right so what i want you to pay attention to is this one over here and after we go through the line over there then you're going to pay attention to this so let's reset the camera here there we go and now pay very close attention to 
to the top one. You can see right there that it is much, much faster right off the bat. But when we pass through the string, the other one is going to start accelerating like absolute crazy and also scoot the way hell out of control way too fast. And I guess the way to really explain this is that the more you turn it, the less acceleration to begin with it's going to have. It's definitely going to get high up there later on, but it's going to have a better top speed as well. Basically, the more you turn these, the faster it will go potentially, which is very cool. And so for the next scenario here, I have scaled down the wings here quite a lot or the propellers to 0.25. So that's one fourth of the original length. These are also the small propellers, not the big ones. So what I want to show you here is also, well, the potential of the engine right there. And as you can see, it is incredibly fast. Oh my God. Okay. I need to learn how to control this in zero G. Well, I guess this is kind of a good way to show it actually, because this one doesn't really stop in the air. It kind of slows down because it's not rotating as much, but those propellers are actually lined up in a way that they're not going to create any drag to slow down the vehicle. All right, so it's time to talk about double propellers. But actually, before I do that, there is one trick that I need to show you guys because I completely forgot this before for some odd reason. So what you're going to do is just delete that right off the bat and then have the select blocks thing activated. And so what you're going to do is just take all of these four transfer to your translate tool and then click in by roughly half a block. At least that's kind of what I like to use. So here you can see they're actually still attached and now you have less weight to worry about. But yeah, either ways, that is also condensing your machine just a little bit. And actually, if you want to go even further in that category, what you can do is also take the wheel back there. Oh, it's a little bit strange. There we go. And you can then move that back as well. I think we can even go roughly three. Yeah. That's exactly right. And then you have condensed your engine even more. Holy crap. But yes, double propellers. Also, that's a bit of a smiley face with the arrow there. <laughs> Either way, is what I talked about in the previous episode of Better Besiege Building by the Bearded Beast is the anchor point. I don't think I called it that in the previous episode, but you may or may not remember what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this. If you select any block and then you select, for instance, translate selection, then it's going to be moved from that block because that is the one that you previously clicked. On. So if I were to get the select blocks thing again and maybe click like that wing up there, then I put on translate selection, it's going to be controlled from that wing. That is the anchor point. And that's what I'm going to refer to it as in this episode. And here's how that comes to good use, because if you want the double propellers, what you're going to do is first off, select all the propellers and then the wheel in the middle, right? Then what you want to do is duplicate it, then take your rotate selection. And this one, I like to just set to 45 degrees, right? So you can press any direction you want, and that is going to double the propellers. Now, see, that's quite badass. But when you do this, like when you start the simulation, everything flies off. Well, that is because you did not delete the inner wheel here. So you have a wheel inside of another wheel, which is not very good at all. Right. So let's try this out. Yes. Beautiful. And it is super, super fast, as you can clearly tell. Now, I actually have a little test and I'm going to load that up, which is going to show you the difference between four propellers and eight. All right. So here they are. And these are eight propellers versus four propellers. These are all basically rotated the exact same way as the previous one. Right. So let's see how this does. Four versus eight. And I need to start the simulation. There we go. And as you can see, this one over here is basically just bolting straight ahead. That is incredible. Yeah, they can actually continue for a while. Okay. So that one is definitely starting to scoot out a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. And the other one, if it had the same amount of rotor blades, it would also scoot out right there. So yes, more fans equals more speed, at least if you're doing it exactly like this. But now what I want to do is show you something a little bit different because these I can turn with, well, yeah, let's just say 45 degrees and I can get them to an angle that looks quite like this. I need to show you something very important with exactly that. And just to see this in comparison to each other a lot better. Oh God, that I did not mean to do. I'm just going to delete these ones that I don't have on the other one as well. And now you should really be able to see the difference here. So let's try that out. That's actually the other way. There we go. And as you can see right there, it is not stopping. Same amount of propellers, same amount of spin, but no slowing down. So that's sort of what I was talking about before as well with being able to rotate these propellers so that they would create the minimal amount of drag, right? And also make your creation a lot faster. So I also talked about before being able to make these propellers stick to the wheel. So no ballast in there. Well, it actually also works with eight propellers as well. And you know what? It's not necessarily because I am the best builder out there, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to pass on the knowledge that I have so far and also being able to help you guys make some better creations let's see there there we go and now 
Yes, oh good lord, this is so freaking beautiful. It looks really cool too, oh god, not like that. Alright, so before I'm gonna go today, I'm gonna show you what this looks like as a final product. What I have done here is create two engine parts and simply brace them together, also putting them very close together, so this indeed is a very compact engine. And now, it is time to see what happens. Okay, actually not too fast, but I think I forgot to put up the speed on the wheels. Alright, so let's try this one, hold this down, oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy, that is fast. Now again, these are not completely turned. I guess you can also kind of see that. I'm just gonna try to stop it there. <laughs> Another very awesome thing is that it's really good at switching directions very, very fast. Right now, I'm just going back and forth, right? So this is very immaculate. Still, it could be better, but this is my version. And a little bit of lag there, not too sure why that is. Actually, also, when you pause it, it just, it looks quite mean, to be honest. It looks very, very good. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you did not have these unpowered wheels on, it would still transfer torque to the rest of the machine. That's all well and good, but these things are turning in the opposite directions, meaning it's actually kind of gonna twist the vehicle if you don't have these on. The good part about this setup with two wheels, by the way, is also that you can make this one into a toggle mode. So let's say uh, T and G, and I'm just gonna copy that and put it onto the same thing. So what you can do here is have different speeds. So in case I want to go just a little bit faster and also a little bit slower, I can do so. And then of course you can also just like shut that off right there. You can also toggle them to go backwards and that is also going to go a lot, lot faster. And then you can of course also slow it down. So yes, this is sort of the engines. Like, I guess I'm not really too sure what else to make of this episode, but I hope that you guys definitely learned something for those of you out there who are maybe not as experienced builders in Besiege as some of the others. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to some more Better Besiege Building by the Bearded Beast. And also, god damn it, what is up with that lag? I'm not too sure what that is. Well, either ways, let me know what I should also be building or teaching you guys or passing along in terms of knowledge what is up with that lag but yeah let me know in the comments below so thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace